Hi there, this is Rashid Ebukun. Welcome to my channel, Stadium TV. And today we'll be talking about social media frenzy, uh, social media as a fake reality. And uh, that's the expose I'm about to do today. I'm about to do an expose on social media, a fake reality. So many things happening on the social media that people follow. And in actual reality, the people doing these things are fake. So when you follow someone that is not actually showing you their true side of a color, what are you doing? You're going under the sinking ship. So I'm just going to review uh, three most recent things that happened on the social media that trended and how it exposes the fakeness of the lives of the living that you see on social media. So if you've not subscribed to my channel right now, is the time to do that. Just click on the subscribe button and then click the bell notification so that you can know whenever I drop a new video. This is Take 10 TV and we do our best to make sure we provide the best content, the best of the best content every week for you. For most people you see on social media, they are trying to keep up most of the most of the paparazzi that you see on Instagram or that you see on Facebook. They uh, make believe. Please don't put yourself on the unnecessary pressure. Please, please take it one step at a time. It's okay to be inspired. It's okay to be motivated. But looking at how successful someone is, looking at how, how beautiful, looking at how emotional, looking at how someone feels their, like, I think their life has been good. Life is great. Never better. It's just so fantastic. This economy is great. It's doing me totori. Don't run your race looking at what you see on social media. So we're, I'm going to look at three examples of stuff that happened this week, this past week, that tells you that really social media is a fake reality. Number one is Mercy AK. Mercy AK is our first uh, winner of uh, Big Brother Niger. And uh, during the weekend when Erica was uh, evicted by Big Brother, Mercy AK went on Instagram live to cry. I mean, let's watch that. <laughs> Who does that? And who goes on Instagram live just to prove that you were hurt by a decision? A decision that does not affect you directly in any way. You were not the one in the house. I mean, even Erica's first video did not show her crying. She was smiling and saying she was fine. She's learning to be a better place. But Mercy AK just had to, you know, you know, you know, for the paparazzi, for the views. Come on. Too busy, like, getting shit done to stay at home like you. Do you get? And do whatever you want to do. So don't just miss me with that bullshit. And you can't force, you can't force whoever, you can't force them on me. That's the social media we're talking about. So who, who builds their lives looking at stuff like that? It's fake. It's just so fake. It's just so fake. I don't know how you want to look at it. I don't know how you want to think about it. I was hurt by someone. I was hurt by something. I click on my phone, click on go live, and I start crying. <laughs> I'm so hurt right now. <laughs> Oh, you're not hot. You're fake. My son should win this. I will uh, make sure that he gives her half of her uh, half of his. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't get. This is a billionaire, right? So, what's the trip about the money? Uh, so, this is what he's trying to do. He's trying to win the Erica fans over to vote his son, Kid White. His son has said it over and over that he's worth more than all the housemates when they get out there that is bigger and richer than all of them combined together. So what's the big deal about sharing that for his open five million and give it to Erica when they can as well just give her the whole give her a hundred million even while he's while still in the house? So what he's trying to do is to play on the emotions of the fans of Erica and get them to vote Kid Wire. You know, the charity. So really she has really, really sacrificed her own uh, position to to support him. So 
And uh, this is a time everybody should support her. Everybody should know what she's, uh, uh, she's going through. Uh, so you listen to one thing. That's what happens on social media. You're listening to one thing. You're seeing one thing. But the reality is another thing. Do you get what I mean? You're seeing one thing. The reality is another thing. So that's another reason why you should not react. You should not build your life. You should not build your expectations based on the perceptions that you're getting from social media. Never do that. That guy is not after giving Erica 42.5 million. He's after winning Erica's fans so that they can vote for Kid Wire. Yes, I said it. Fake. The next one is addressing the free the ship of nations. The free the ship of nations. Yeah, yeah, you heard me right. The ones that are always cussing pastors, cussing uh, believers, cussing those that tithe, saying, yeah, you're fools, you're morons. So on Sunday, a pastor in uh, Port Harcourt City, Ibiome of Salvation Ministry, uh, got, went uh, on his pulpit and he attacked that the freeze, the free the ship convener, the one that makes the noise here, the one that is motivating people to, to fight their leaders, fight their spiritual leaders, fight their pastors, calling them thieves, calling them uh, murderers and all sorts of names. Yes, that same one. So the, the pastor from Prada Cut addressed him and threatened him and told him that if he isn't ever say pew about Bishop David Oyekudepo again, it was going to take it up with him. Now, remember that this is the same uh, man of God that took it up with Kemi Olun Loyo. If you know Kemi Olun Loyo, you know that she's a smart one, intelligent woman, and she's not the type to retreat. But this man took it by the books, got the police involved, got the justice system involved until she was humbled, until she even came to the church to, to do Thanksgiving and to say she, she's sorry and she's accepted Christ and Don't all that. Don't let the devil use you. That's my testimony. And I do want to clarify that I was not paid for this testimony. This testimony is going live on the internet right now. Pastor Ibiomi, somebody used me. I'm going to fly the color, stoop to conquer. And Pastor Biomi met with me yesterday in his office privately. He blessed me. He led me to Christ. I gave my life to Christ. This is the same man calling out that the freeze and saying that you've been insulting my man of God for a while. You've been insulting my dad, that is Bishop David Oedipo, spiritual father, for a while. And if you keep at it, I'm going to take you on. If I appeal again. Insulting me, I won't call, but insult you, Oedipo. That bastard. Tell him, any day I hear him talk about Oedipo, that did I hear him insult Oedipo again? I will, I will deal with him. Oedipo may not talk, but I come their life to insult my father. Now, this is an opportunity for the freedership master to show the same violence, the same taking it by force that he has been preaching to his followers. What are you talking about? Let me shriek like he shrieks. I'm talking about the bald headed fowl. What are you talking about? When this church made only 300 naira, were they there? Anybody that tells that Jesus was not poor. Uh, Jesus was rich, is a bastard, and he has used his left hand to describe his father's house. Uh, your pastor's a bunch of thieves. Don't go, don't give to them, don't go to their church. They, they go, get gathered online, and they curse and they shout them down. This was an opportunity for him to practice what he had been preaching, you know. I would, I would tear you, I would, I would tear you to pieces. Talk back at it, be your me. And you know, shouted back at him like like uh, many of his followers believe that that was going to do. You know, they, they, they see that on, on on social media, and they just want to follow suit, and they've been following suit in their own lives, disrespecting uh, men of God around them. But what did that the fridge do? A threat to life. How can our dreams be shattered with threats of death? He crawled into his hole. I mean, his response was one of the most polite I have ever seen from him, seen or heard from him ever. I mean, he was so polite. He was so nice. He was so humbled. He was calling in the police to, to deal with the threat to life issue and all that. I'm like, what? And here his followers have been all over in their own lives, saying trash to Men of God saying trash to pastors around them. This was an opportunity for your convener, your convener to show, to practice what he has been preaching. 
Someone just called you a bastard. Someone just called you, uh, what else did they call him? Um, I know he called him a bastard. I know he called him a Somalian. He said he was born in the, in the, in the, he was born in the, in the sheep. Yeah. He said he was born in the sheep. And, and that, I mean, people that did not say trash to that difference had been caught up by him in the past. I mean, People that did not even go near him, people that were just doing pastors that were just doing their own business, had been called out and ridiculed by him and his followers. Now, someone is representing the opposing team. Let me allow me the, uh, for lack of uh, language to use or words to use. Someone from the opposing team has now chosen to take up a challenge and say, okay, now it's a battlefield. Let me hear pin from you. Let me hear you speak about my dad and the Lord again. And that the freeze chicken down, saying, no, I never insulted Oyedepo. I never, I can't, I can't remember ever insulting Oyedepo. What are you talking about? Let me shriek like he shrieks. I'm talking about the bald-headed fowl. What are you talking about? When this church made only 300 naira, were they there? And he's like, Nigerian police, help, 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 help. Help! Nigeria police, help! Help! Oh, ejo, ejo. Please save me! Please save me! So I'm speaking, I'm speaking to the public, I'm speaking to the police, I'm speaking to the world at large. Should anything whatsoever happen to me, I want you to know who to hold responsible. That is your freedership of convener. Yes, that is in there. They are the same one. Now, humbled. Now, imagine those that he has led astray, those that have, he has made rebuke, curse, insult, men of God around them. Here is an opportunity for him. He has been served back his own dish, but he refused to eat from it. So what does that tell you? Social media is a frenzy. Don't let it lead you astray. Watch what you listen to. Watch what you follow. Watch who you even subscribe to. Watch what they are teaching you. Is it blessing you? Is it the right thing to do? See what you hear on social media. Don't just take, don't just take, don't just say, oh, I, I, this is my mentor. I respect what he has achieved and whatever they're doing, you just run after it because there's so much fake reality on social media. I'm Rashid. This is Stadium TV. I'm glad that you listened to and you watched this video. I would like you to subscribe right now, like, comment, share. Let me know. Let me know your experiences, your social media experiences and the fake things that you've seen happen that in reality, it shouldn't be like that. The fake, fake, fake things that are your experiences on social media or fake realities. Please share with me, tag your friend, uh, share this video, like it, comment. I'll appreciate that. This is Stake Them TV. Subscribe to our channel. Click the bell notification. Thank you very much for watching. I'm out now. Bye. Show me.